The interesting thing about narcissists is that we, most of us probably think we know someone who thinks about themselves, who puts themselves forward over others, who maybe has a lot of self-confidence. But actually there's forms of being narcissistic or narcissism that are really kind of just ordinary. So we have to distinguish between the personality trait of narcissism and the kind of mental health problem that we call narcissistic personality disorder. So the signs of narcissistic personality disorder are going to be any of the following. You believe you're more important than others. You're preoccupied with fame or wealth or status. You are entitled. You can only really be around people that are highly, highly special or have high status. You take advantage of other people. You are arrogant. You lack empathy. Uh, you require a ton of admiration from others, uh, or you're envious of other people, or you think that they're envious of you. If you have five or more of those, then you might meet criteria for narcissistic personality disorder. The person has to have really a long-standing pattern across time and in a lot of different contexts and situations where these different symptoms are present and where they're causing impairment, where they're causing problems for that person. A lot of times what we see in clinic is that patients with narcissistic features or narcissistic traits, they may be present in clinic as kind of part of uh, maybe depression or substance use or anxiety or really any number of different clinical presentations. But it's not really as common to see someone with narcissistic personality disorder come to clinic to get treated for their narcissistic personality disorder. That said, sometimes people with narcissistic personality disorder do come to clinic, and a lot of times when they do, it's kind of externally driven. It's sort of, you know, someone in their life has told them that they need help, or maybe they've been mandated to get help. And so a lot of times when these folks come into clinic for treatment, you know, they may or may not be initially really ready to make change. There really isn't a whole lot to tell you this is the specific treatment protocol. So what that means is that clinicians are really left to kind of think through very carefully what makes the most sense for this person in their context, right, given their goals and given their values. And so a therapist who can engage them in understanding what their values are and how their values may be here, but their actions are here. And in that space in between is where the narcissistic features are or the narcissistic symptoms are. If we can get them to kind of realize, hey, this is the way you value being, this is the way you are, in the middle, this is the room to change. People with narcissistic personality disorder or people with traits of this disorder who really aren't at that kind of level of a diagnosis, they can be helped. They absolutely can be helped. It isn't always easy. In fact, it's often challenging and takes time. But I think you can differentiate between challenging and takes time versus hopeless. Don't think it's hopeless, but I do think it can take some time.